have visitors here at the uh, Triceratops compound for quite a few years, so we're excited to have guests today. Come on in, guys. Again, please do continue to move on in. Move on down and around, making room for those still coming up behind you. Got a lot of people in to see you today, Topper, yes. Come on in, guys. Thanks for joining us. Hello. All right. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello, how are you? I'm Dr. Philip Bricker. I'm one of the veterinarians here in Jurassic Park. Uh, this big girl, uh, this big girl saying, saying hi here, right here. This is Topper. Topper is one of our 19 Triceratops porridges we have here at the park. Now, uh, can anybody tell me what the name Triceratops means? Does anybody know? What it means? Oh, it means three horned face. Uh, and actually, the full species name is Triceratops horridus, terrible three horned face. But as you can see, there's nothing terrible about these amazing and uh, normally very docile creatures. Uh, now, I do say normally because uh, Topper here is a bit upset today. She's a little cranky. She doesn't like being away from her herd for too long. You see, she's the oldest Triceratops we have here. She's 17 years old, going on 18. Uh, and as the oldest, she is the uh, she's the patriarch of her herd. So uh, being away from the family too long uh, doesn't put her in a bit of a bad mood. But she is in for a routine observation. We're going to keep her here for 24 hours. While she's here, we're going to uh, monitor her vitals over on the screen there. Uh, we're going to do a full physical exam, make sure she's nice and healthy. We're going to do a bit of behavioral analysis while she's here. Now, uh, this species, Triceratops, originally existed 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous. Now, uh, she roamed what would have been, well, what, what is today, rather, the Western United States and Canada. Now, in that area, uh, and in that time period, she would have had to deal with one of the most fearsome predators ever to exist. Uh, Triceratops' natural predator was Tyrannosaurus rex. However, Topper here would be well defended against a T-Rex attack. Of course, she does have the three horns on the front of her face. Uh, the three horns are used for defense. They're also used for uh, sparring with other Triceratops to all can fight with each other uh, for territorial, uh, to territorial disputes. Now, uh, the whole time... Oh, boy, something's got to say. Excuse me, guys, pardon me. Excuse me. I'm going to try to calm her down. I'm going to need to uh, use a little trick in the back of Hey, 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 Topper. Easy to find. Come on. You're trying to distract her. Take her mind up on whatever's got her upset. This usually works. Come on, Topper. It's okay. Right. I guess this is a good time to talk about her diet. Uh, she's an herbivore. Uh, I mean, she eats plants like this palm frond here. She likes to uh, strip the vegetation. Come on now. It's okay. It's okay. Eat easy, girl. It's all right. Sorry about that. Uh, like I was saying, she she like she will use the uh, very powerful beak on the front of her face there to strip vegetation off the low lying plants. Uh, now, uh, she does have a full set of teeth behind that big beak, if you can see inside her mouth there. Now, that teeth is perfect for grinding up her diet. However, she does need a little help uh, digesting what she swallows. Uh, she's what we call a gastropod. That means she swallows stones, kind of like this one. These stones will stay in your stomach for months at a time. Uh, they'll grind up the plant matter inside, making it easier for her to digest. Uh, now, uh, eventually, the stones become smooth. Worn out. These are no good to her anymore, so she'll uh, regurgitate those stones and swallow a new set. We find these all over the herbivore plains, wherever our triceratops like to grow here in Jurassic Park. Uh, these are called uh, gastrolites. I actually got this one this morning, had to uh, clean it up a little bit before we get in, but uh, here it is. Uh, looks like she's calmed down quite a bit. It's going to be a good time to take some questions. Does anybody have any questions? Can I answer anything about her? Anything you'd like to know? Well, a few facts about her, a few, few statistics. Now, currently she is uh, just under 10 tons. She weighed in at uh, 19,800 pounds this morning. Uh, now, uh, she's uh, 29 and a half feet. Those horns on the front of her face there, 
three and a half feet long. However, uh, she's not done growing. She's going to continue to grow all throughout her entire lifetime. Uh, when she is fully grown, she's going to be uh, over 30 feet in length, uh, well over uh, 10 tons. And those two horns there on the front of her face are going to be about seven and a half feet long. Uh, now, we think she's probably going to grow all throughout her entire lifetime. Uh, and that could be quite a long time, actually. Uh, we estimate the Triceratops will live over 100 years. Uh, that's based on our heart rate. If you can see on the monitor there, it's currently at uh, 24 beats per minute. It's actually typical for a triceratops. Triceratops are uh, generally at 22 to 26 beats per minute. Uh, now, when we checked your temperature this morning, it was a 93.7, which is pretty good for a triceratops. Uh, they're what we call gigantotherms. That means they regulate their body temperature by speeding up or slowing down their body. I am so sorry about that. Oh, uh, it looks like your, your sedatives are starting to wear off. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I, I do apologize, but it looks like I'm going to have to give uh, Topper a sedative uh, treatment. If you would please follow our game warden here. He's going to show you back out. I'd like to thank you for stopping by, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Mr. John Hammond and Engine Technologies, enjoy the rest of your day of discovery here at Jurassic Park. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Goodbye, folks. Yeah, I think you need to